Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And I am your host, Uncle C. Our story today is called Dorcas and Peter. Many might know it as Dorcas is resurrected and it's taken from Acts chapter 9, verses 36 to 43. It is such a short passage that you can read it quickly after the story. So after the story, all of you at home, please read Acts chapter 9, 36 to 43. And the action text is taken from Acts 9, 42, which says, People everywhere in Joppa learned about this, and many believed in the Lord. Now on to the story. The story begins with Peter, the apostle Peter, traveling to Lilla, Lydda, and he went to a guy named Anias, Anias, sorry, and Anias was sick for about eight years. He was paralyzed. He could not move from his bed, and Peter went, and Peter healed Anias, and everyone was happy, and they used that as a symbol of their faith in God, and they just spread the word. Now, in the city of Joppa, there was a person named Dorcas. She was also known as Tabitha. And she was just a nice, kind lady. And people just loved her because she would just go out of her way to do things for people. But one day, she got ill and she died. And they were so sad. And people said, you know what? Peter is in litter. Let's go and get him. He healed Ananias there. Let's... So they went to get Peter. And they said to Peter, we need you to come with me. Now, boys and girls, there's a, there's a difference between having someone walk and bringing someone back to life, right? So their fate might have been very great. Peter, he went with them. And when Peter went with them, I could imagine them crying, Peter, this is what she made for me. Could you please do something, Peter? And I could see them just crying and, and just, just asking Peter to do these things. And Peter asked, where is she? And Peter went up and Peter prayed. And he said, Tabitha, arise. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. She got up and the word was spread and everyone, everyone all over was happy. All through the community, that story went all over and everyone believed in the name of the Lord. Amen. What a wonderful thing to do, to believe in the name of the Lord. Now, boys and girls, there are some points I would like you to remember. We should be kind to people. If Tabitha, also known as Dorcas, was not kind to these people, do you think they would have done all of that for her? Go, go to get Peter? They would have just said, well, um, I guess she died, and that would have been it. Now, when you are kind, your kindness it is repaid. Now, are there things in your life that you wish can come alive? Is it like a relationship with your brothers and sisters? Or is it schoolwork? You know, you you just wish those school grades can get better? Just pray to the Lord and tell him that you need these things to come alive. And when he does, please give thanks to God. Very good. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would probably go this way. Dorcas was kind and did much for the poor. She gave them clothing and so much more. But a day came when she got ill, then died. The people were sad and many cried. But they got Peter and she was raised from the dead. And the tears were replaced by smiles instead. The story is a testimony of what God can do. So to his name, let us all be true. 
All right, boys and girls, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one. What is the name of the man Peter healed? A, no name was given. B, Atticus. C, Anson. Or D, Anias. If you say D, Anias, you are correct. Question number two. The person Peter healed who was Anias was A, blind for eight years, B, paralyzed for eight years, C, deaf since life, or D, paralyzed since life. What is the answer, boys and girls? And if you say B, paralyzed for eight years, you are correct. Question number three. By what other name is Dorcas known? What other name is Dorcas also known by? A, Telma, B, Tabitha, C, Tahiti, or D, Telda. And if you say B, Tabitha, you are correct. And finally, question number four. Which two cities were mentioned in the story? A, Leda, and Tarsus, B, Tarsus and Jerusalem, C, Joppa and Leda, and D, Joppa and Damascus. Which two cities did I mention in the story? And if you say C, Joppa and Leda, you are correct. And I thank you, boys and girls. All right, now it is prayer time. So let's close our eyes, bow our heads, stay quiet, and let us pray to Jesus. Dear Jesus, we thank you for all the miracles and blessings you give us each day. We love you and we will serve you. Amen. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. If you want to co correspond with me, my email is unclecbiblelessons at gmail.com. But please receive your parents' permission before writing. Are you looking for your parents' permission? And as you go through this week, always remember, Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.